Good afternoon everyone and welcome to a new vlog. It is another hotels tour. Looking forward to this one. It is another GF Hotel. Thank you very much to them for inviting us out. We are at the Isabel today which is just down the road from the Gran and from the Victoria that we filmed uh, over the last couple of weeks. I will leave in the description the links to those two videos. Uh, but it's the Isabel today. This one is four star. The other two were five star so this one is a little bit cheaper as well. We're going to do a full tour. They've invited us down. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Loads of Tenerife content on there. Uh, hit the thumbs up and then let's get inside, get toured, see what sort of rooms they've got and let's see what the price difference is, how much difference is there between the four and the five stars. It's going to be interesting to see. I can already see from the location you're a little bit further back from the beach but let's, uh, let's take a little look and see. So we're just in reception here, as you can see, it is a bit of a different feel. It is very Spanish feel, I'd say, with all the wood around. Um, very nice, very nice and clean. Uh, the lady has just come and met us, and we're going to go and do the... Restaurant first, we're going to do that, show you what's on offer the restaurant, see what yeah. different food's got going on, what's appropriate for the children, because it is a family hotel, see what we can do. Yeah, this one is a lot more family-based, this hotel, uh, and it is only up until three, the restaurant, and we're here at two o'clock, so we're going to show you that first. And then we'll show you the rest and get to the rooms and everything, okay? So we've just come through from the reception here. We're on the second floor, but just down on the first floor, uh, you'll see this section is all for breakfast only. They don't do the lunch and the dinner down here. This is just for breakfast. And then the evening shows are on this main stage here in the middle. That's the front where we've just come in. That's the main street on the front. So yeah, big, big area. It's like a big Spanish courtyard feel. Yeah, very nice, very nice. So that's just for breakfast, that one. We're gonna head down to the other restaurant now on the way. So this is the big main restaurant here. This is absolutely amazing, theming wise. Uh, like a Canarian village, she said it is a very Canarian feel rather than a Spanish feel. But these huge chandeliers and the rock theme at the back, it's uh, very grand and very, very Canarian, Spanish. Theme, yeah. yeah, especially with all the sort of wooden terrace theming going on. And it is. Like ah, yeah. Nice. They're huge. These, I don't know if they come out on camera, just how big they are massive so gonna walk you around the buffet now show you what sort of food is on offer you've got the big wine cellar here as well i've uh, got a few people eating so i'm gonna not film anyone i'm gonna jump to the buffet and show you all the food now uh, that they've got on offer so we start off with a kids section here with the pizzas and pasta and different bits here for the kids looks very nice actually making me hungry it's uh, spaghetti there so this is your little kids section. They do have, this seems to be the kids character for the GF hotels. Got pizzas on the oven over there. Nice nuggets. Well, you're making me hungry now though. You shouldn't come round this at lunchtime when you're hungry. Then your, your whole other adult section is all over here straight ahead. You've got your bread and then all your uh, sort of stuff for your little bits of salad, little fruity bar. That's a fruit stand actually, sorry. This is all your fruit and cheese here again loads on offer loads so it's quite busy because it is lunch time uh, you've got here your fish as well a few prawns and things
quite Canarian themed, the food I'd say as well. Um, Canarian themed hotel, definitely some Canarian cuisine in here as well. You've got this one in particular is a very, um, this is the flan, this is very Canarian, dessert wise. Some lovely looking cakes. And I've seen something here as well, straight ahead, that me and Laura would uh, absolutely love. Uh, we'd be in heaven over this, I'm gonna show you in a moment. It does look amazing. Lovely little cakes though. But take a look at this guys, this is where me and Laura would be. This is your chocolate fountain here. Different marshmallows and some profiteroles, some fruit as well. You've got melon and things you can put under there. But look at that, so tempting, so tempting. So just after that, you have got various different soups as well. A lot of it is gluten-free. Uh, so you have got plenty of gluten-free options, as Laura pointed out. Laura does have a gluten allergy, so she's always looking for this sort of thing. Oh. Uh, vegetable soup for the kids. Vegetable <laughs> soup for kids. It's probably right up my street, that, isn't yeah, it? It's... Really smooth. <laughs> yeah, that's right up my street. I like my really soup bad. smooth. Um, and then you have got even more dishes here. Canarian chickpea stew. So you can see very Canarian themed in here. Uh, your mojo sauces for the Canarian potatoes. We've got grilled steak, fried pork here. Uh, this is your dorada. This is, you know, again, Canarian. This is fish, that, you know, quite caught quite locally, the dorada. Salmon. And then you've also got, if you're vegetarian, maybe look away. But you have got your, uh, your pork over there. And then again, more fruit, a big spread of fruit here. Big spread. So very nice, very Canarian themed, I would say, but this is... Uh, They've got everything, even more ice cream here with some nice chocolate sticks and sprinkles and sauces. So if you're a desserty like me, you're, uh, you're well in. So leaving the buffet area there, we are heading now to the gym. Every one of these GF hotels has had a nice gym so far. We've got a spinning room as well. If you are interested in doing a bit of fitness while you're away and keeping all the uh, chocolate fountain off, you can come and use the gym. It does look very nice in here, very clean. It smells very clean. Yeah, got everything you need in here. Uh, fresh towels, if you need them, provided. A few weight machines. Yeah. Everything you'd need in here, Laura. Now, Laura goes to the gym a lot more than me, so. Yeah, this alone has got a lot in it. Yeah, various different. Everything you need for a holiday gym. You could have a good workout in here and uh, you wouldn't catch me in here. You're gonna catch me in probably the spa or the pool, but or probably the buffet with the chocolate fountain. <laughs> um, but yeah, you can do your little workout if you want to. We'll go on now and see the spinning room as well. This, as I mentioned earlier, this is the one that's just for breakfast, for familiarity of where we are. And just over there is where we've been in to see the buffet. So we're gonna go across to the spinning room now. That's just a nice little neat spinning room, but they do have your little spinning classes on. Nice spinning bikes, they're new. Yeah. Nice and new. But yeah, if you wanna do a little spinning class while you're here, keep fit, you can do. Personally, you wouldn't catch me in here, but you'd probably catch Laura in here, but not me, not me. <laughs> so uh, we are gonna head up and see a couple of the rooms as well. We're gonna see a apartment with sea views and we're also going to be visiting one of their deluxe they call it like a mini villa which has got a jacuzzi and things so two different types of accommodation to show you in this uh, resort as well so look forward to that of course with it being a family hotel as well you have got all your entertainment on you've got the animation on for the kids you've got various nightly entertainment your uh, circus, different singers, Caribbean band. So everything going on to keep the kids entertained, all with the usual little, uh, I think it's a palm tree is their mascot for the, uh, for the kids. So yeah, all going on. And that would all be on this stage here in the courtyard. It's a nice big open courtyard that. Very, feels a bit like Santa Cruz, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. 
nice. So they do also, just along from the gym, have the bio spa. Um, we can't quite get in there, it's doing something in there at the moment. You've also got your hair salon and beauty salon here. If you want to get nails done or any treatments or your hair done, they do have that as well on site. And then this is obviously a reception for the spa, but we can't quite go in at the moment. If I imagine it'll be very nice. You've got a back and neck massage, 30 euros, 25 minutes, very fairly priced. Just want to say that everything else. Yeah. It is, uh, everything's very, very clean as you'd expect as well. Just as clean as the others. Uh, very nice. You've got everything on hand there, ready to go. Here's a couple of the prices as well for your manicures 20 euros, eyebrows 10 euros. Very fairly priced, I'd say. Indeed. <laughs> So a bit more of this Spanish Canarian feel here coming through. You've got this, feels very Spanish, very takes you back. But also the little road signs as well, Calle El Paso, the way they've sort of made everything like streets. You really do feel like you're in a little mini Spanish or Canarian town. I do like that. They do theme every hotel really well. Love the little, you know, Spanish style fountain here. All the gardens, very well kept. It is massive in here, I must say. I've been in here a couple of times and it is very, very large. Now, this is one of the places I've been before. This is a very popular uh, dive school and dive shop. So you can organize dive courses and dives from here as well. Uh, the One to Dive company and you can actually do your first couple of lessons in the pools here i believe uh, just down here so you do have that if you're a diver or you're interested in diving you've got that on hand this is a full uh, dive school here on site So we're just heading to the mini club here. They do have a lovely kids uh, swimming area, swimming pool and splash zone down here. I'll just quickly show you. And various, the mini club goes all the way around. So it is a big, big section for the kids. You've got different climbing zones here. And then you do have that full big splash zone down there with a few slides, lifeguard on duty, of course. And then further around more different activities. I'm not gonna film any areas where there's kids. Um, we do have a big outdoor sort of mini club bit here. I'll see what I can show you. We're just gonna wait for the kids to leave the kids clubs. They're moving to another building in a moment. I just wanna show you one of the main uh, swimming pool areas here. Big pads on the sunbeds, which I like. That's a theme in most of the hotels now. Um, with these big thick padded sunbeds. But uh, yeah, very nice. Slow entering pool. It's, you know, the depth slowly goes down. And I think this is where you can learn to scuba dive, as it says on the sign there. I think you can do it in here. Probably one morning before the pool opens, you can learn to do your bit of diving, your basics in here. And then you've got your pool bar here as well with all your drinks, slushies and alcohol and things. Ice creams, bits and bobs. Very nice. Yeah, yeah, nice. Oh, I like that actually, yeah. So you can buy your aluminium bottle and just keep having that filled up. That's nice. 100% 100, 100 compostable uh, straws as well. Very, very good. See more bars need to get on that sort of stuff. But yeah, got everything here. Nice coffee machine. Just do with one of them. But we're just going to wait for the kids to um, move into the other section and then I'll be able to show you the kids area for any of you that have got kids or families uh, that might be interested in the kids zone. Uh, there is a whole nother building section here of it as well. But I would say overall, it is very Canarian feel, very Spanish feel. Um, if you want to come away and feel like you've, you know, you definitely feel like you're in the Canaries or Spain, but not be too far from, you know, your British bars and things and the beachfront, you do get that feel being in here. And then when you come out of the hotel, 
you can feel you know like you're more in you know go to all your british bars and things like that if that's what you're into or it's a completely different feeling here is probably what i'm trying to say but you can escape the feel of it being so heavily spanish when you come out of the hotel but it is like almost being in santa cruz but you're not in santa cruz or la laguna as well these sort of buildings um the theming is very very nice very tasteful it's not too much it's not too little either they do have all those nice little spanish touches especially the little road signs i love all that and they're, they're all again canary themed so cali el hierro um, so there's a few others further around it's, uh, I'm enjoying it so far. Very, very different to the other two that we've toured. Very different. Okay, so the kids have now left this section. So I'm going to quickly show you uh, what they've got going on here. This is like an outdoor area. Again, different games you can play on the soft floor. They've got different tables set up for different arts and crafts. Uh, water always on hand as well. Keep them hydrated. Yeah, nice safe area. They can't get out either. If you've got any any naughty children <laughs> uh, but yeah it is safe in here um looks nice we're gonna go and see that little inside section as well now okay so we're in this different section of the kids club now and this is just for tui germany this bit is exclusive for tui germany very nice can we follow all the way all the way through perfect so this is just for uh, Tui Germany, this bit. It's exclusive, very nice. So if you did book with Tui from Germany as well, you would obviously have access to this bit of an extra kids club. I imagine most things will all be in German, I imagine. But uh, I've got everything in here, it's nice and soft. All the floors nice and soft, air flowing through as well, nice and safe. And then you've got a big outdoor kids play area here as well, all astroturfed. Very nice. So just at the back of the kids area, you have got, again, a big open space for the kids to play, including this little outdoor football pitch. And you've got basketball going on as well. I think there is some mini golf further on as well. I'm going to go down and have a little look. But big area for your football. If your kid wants a little... Uh, kick around or a bit of basketball plenty going on all nice astroturf i think they're just gardens further up yeah you've got everything going on if you uh got some kids to entertain laura plenty going on and here is the little mini golf which is uh, nice again all astroturf and interesting enough for free again nice that'll uh do nicely so uh, the gentleman was just saying as well this building here which almost looks like a bit like a church they do get uh, in the winter animators from nordic countries like finland and things come over and i presume do singing and things like this yeah. nice lovely building lovely building we're just heading down now towards uh, the couple of pools and then we will be up to see a couple of the rooms as well So just at the main pool here, you have got snacks and fruit and sandwiches here. You've got a full bar if you want to get any drinks or ice creams, uh, all here in the shaded area as well. And then you have got your full uh, pool deck out here. It's not the full sunniest day today, but big, big pool. It does stretch all the way around. I'm not going to go too close as people are sunbathing and having fun. But again, you've got your lifeguard on duty, of course and the big padded sunbeds, which I think are a big selling point. Really comfy, yeah. Makes it much comfier. Very, very large pool area, large pool deck for sunbathing. Pool is heated as well all year round, so you can swim anytime, which is nice. But that is a pretty big pool, Laura, yeah? Massive, yeah. Massive, absolutely massive. So it's room time now. We're going to get up 
and see a couple of different rooms, including one of these villas, which I'm looking forward to. So let's uh, stride on. So we're going to start off with one of their little villas here. You can see lovely Spanish Canarian style little patio up there. We're going to take a walk in. This is like a little mini semi-detached uh, private villa. You've got a lovely little private spa here out the front. Obviously you can turn that on, have a little bit of jacuzzi session in there. You've got your sunbed and lounges and table and chairs just through there. And we're going to take a walk through here now. It is a lovely little private mini villa. Nice little modern kitchen. It's nice that. Modern little uh, touches. Everything you need. Your little cooker, fridge, toaster, everything like that. Your microwave. You get little amenities as well. Yeah, you've got, you've got not got to worry about going and getting sponges and things. <clears throat> they are all provided. You've got a juicer, a coffee machine. They do give you a nice little free bottle of uh, Semi seco there as well, and a little bottle of fizzy water, a couple of chocolates. You've got everything you need if you want to cook in or eat in for a few nights. Downstairs, shower and bathroom here, nice and clean. Again, you do get your little GF uh, goodies. And then you have got sort of a living area here with your sofa. You can see the spas on outside now and uh, the TV here as well. Nice. Then we're going to take a little quick look upstairs. It's almost like an apartment duplex sort of thing. Very Spanish feel though, right down to the, the brown tiles. That's a very Spanish uh, or Canarian sort of uh, tile that you'd have down. Massive, no, this is a massive, I was going to say massive bed. It is two, I think they're bigger than singles though. Yeah, they seem wider, yeah. Nice TV unit here. I love all this modern got similar tv unit to this at home glass mirrored sliders hello you see my lovely shirt again and then again nice modern so it's modern but still keeps in with that spanish theme in which is nice a uh, little notice uh, again all about the environment together we can collaborate in a small way you know small gesture means a lot if you want us to change the bed linen, please leave this card on your pillow. So, you know, if you don't feel like you, your bedding needs cleaning all the time, you can leave the card off. Or if you do want it washing, you just leave the card on. And major bonus, aircon. You do have aircon nice. throughout. So it is pumping through now. It's nice and cold. That's in the bedroom. It was down in the living room as well. Uh, I could feel it. Everything you need there, phone for reception. Again, upstairs bathroom. This is your main bathroom now. Very nice, very large sink area with all your goodies again. Shower and bath, if you prefer a bath or just a shower. You've got both just there. And then your nice, neat toilet, clean. Again, nice dressing gown. You do get all your GF goodies. Can't beat a few free goodies, all your little shampoos and things. Spot on. So you can see there is the slight difference in the five and the four star. You're not going to get your little USB plugs. You're not going to get your bidet in the bathroom, things like that. But a lot of them are not important to, to people. You can certainly get by without them, but you are just missing those slight touches that would take it up to the next level. But it is very, very nice, I must say. Everything is all the same level of cleanliness, the same level of little touches. Whether you're four star, five star, you're going to get your little goodies and same level of you know cleanliness again all fairly new I've yeah seen throughout this whole... that's what i said it's modern but it still keeps in with that yeah sort of spanish feel it's what you want. yeah just gonna head back downstairs now it does feel big it doesn't look big on the outside but it does feel pretty big there is your uh air con just there for downstairs and then your spa straight out here if you want to just chill privately and you've got this wall here between you and the neighbours, so they can't really see you either. So it is quite private. So that's one of the little mini villas. We are now going to take a look at an apartment now.
Dime, ¿cuántas veces me volviste demente? Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. Dime, ¿cuántas veces me volviste demente? Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. Dime, ¿cuántas veces me volviste de mente? Ahora sí que estoy tan solo, no es fácil. So just coming out of the villa, you have got your little amenity shop here as well. Again, you haven't got to leave the hotel if you want to buy some sweets, some drinks, some toiletries, water, snacks, everything, postcards, all of that is all in this little on-site mini mart. You've got your newspapers, books, more little uh, games areas for the kids as well. All your entertainment everywhere. And we're going to go back through into this main area. We are on the way to uh, one of the apartments. Just in the lift to the going up to the fourth floor for the apartment. Thoughts so far, Laura? Thoughts well, so far is this is not a hotel. This is a it's little more town. like a little town, isn't it? It's like a little village. Very nice for families. Completely yeah. different vibe. But it is like a little minute you could get lost in here very easily. You could say for a week I've been yeah. getting in a hotel. Yeah, yeah, it's very different style. I do like it. Yeah. So we're gonna see one of these apartments now, as you can see. Come up the lift, you've got some beautiful views from up here. There's the courtyard down there, down there that we were in earlier, that where they only do the breakfast. The big main tower at the front. And then down here, this is all your, you've got Puerto Colón over there, Fanyabe Beach. Uh, just further along here, you've got Del Duque over there. And you can see from here, their neighboring GF hotels. So there is the GF Gran just here. You've got the Isabel just there, if you can just see it but more spectacular views and more lovely rooftop sunbathing as well. And you see the scope of just how big it is. There's the kids club over there. We've just been to in the far corner, the main pool. It is very, very big, I'm very saying, large. Three separate sunbathing, sunbathing decks. Yeah, you have got, you've got a deck here. You've got a deck there, a deck over here with a hot tub. It's, but stunning views from up here, wow. Really nice. And we do actually have another GF hotel over there. Maybe we will tour that one uh, one day as well. Again, following on with their company theming, solar panels or solar water heaters, however you want to call them, on the roofs of most of the hotels. Very nice. So let's uh, check out this apartment now. Okay, so we are in now one of the one bedroom apartments. This is on the fourth floor. Of course, your GF goodies in the bathroom. Nice, clean shower bath. Keeping with that brown floor theming, very Canarian. And then through, you've got a nice bright colored sofa, TV there, air conditioning again, of course. And then your mini kitchen, everything you need. Microwave, cooker, fridge everything there safety as well every place should have these fire blankets if they've got a kitchen inside that is one of the regulations place to eat of course and then look at the sort of view you've got here on this fourth floor you've got stunning views up here if you can get on the third or fourth floor you are going to get these uh, lovely views you've got people parasailing out there Slightly sort of stormy clouds as well that were nice to see. It's not your usual bright sunny sky today, but I'm sure when you come on holiday it will be. And then some lounges, table, you can just lie here, chill in the sun as you can see. Sun, these are south facing, so you're going to get nice sun on the patio. Yeah, lovely, lovely and clean. Little clothes area here as well. 
and then we'll go through into the uh, bedroom. This is all Spanish feel. I'm going to keep pointing it out, but it is very Canary and Spanish. This is the theme of this hotel. Again, a very nice, bright, clean, colourful bedroom that leads on straight onto your patio with your ocean views. And um, going on, you've got more in the corner of the bedroom here. Little place to put your case, plenty of storage. Nice mirrored wardrobes with all your hangers and everything in. So plenty of storage space, a very large room as well, I'd say. These are more than singles. They're like a single and a half size bed. But I do like the way you can go straight out onto your patio. Little morning coffee with a view like this. Lovely. Watch the ferries go by, the boats, the parasailers. Lovely. So just like uh, with the um, Victoria Hotel, they do have these touch screens around, which are gonna show you everything that's on. Uh, you can have a look through the bungalows, the uh, disability accessible apartments, the normal apartments, family villas, and you can look at what is going on uh, throughout the hotel with the wellness center and what shows are on as well. You can have a look at all of those on this interactive touch screen let's have a look at the scandals dinner show we are actually going to this we've been invited kindly by uh, gf hotels which is uh, amazing thank you very much uh, for that and we are going to be going to this scandal dinner show we're going to vlog it we can't show the actual show maybe a couple of pictures but we'll show the night we're going to have dinner and everything like that and um, it's going to be really good and it is meant to be an excellent show uh, you can see sort of what you're going to you know see with the show this is in the room that you may have seen on the victoria hotel tour we did with the with the fun lighting on the ceiling you can see there so it's going to be really good that i'm really going to enjoy that but we will do a whole other vlog on the, the scandal dinner show but yeah you have got these screens everywhere i like that you can just touch see what's going on you've got the weather on the top the time everything brilliant so we are back down in reception now. We've nearly finished our tour, but I did want to mention, of course, concierge service. If you've got any specific uh, shows or excursions or anything you want doing, they do have a desk here for you. And I'm just going to quickly show the little uh, bar cafe down here in the uh, lobby. We've got a lovely bar at the end here, which has got some snacks and a nice bit of uh, George Michael on the uh, speaker as well. I've got to talk over, but coffee alcohol whatever you want all here in the lobby if you want to grab a quick drink while you may be waiting for someone or something and it just just show you a bit more of the theming of the hotel still so to cap off the tour we're going to have two of these lovely lecce lecce grandes that the woman's lovingly just made for us uh, here in the lobby bar just here uh, we're going to enjoy these and then we're going to go and fly the drone and get our drone footage for you just to show you the landscape of the the resort hotel apartments however you want to call it really village as laura says uh, and yeah then we'll wrap up the tour but for now it is uh, coffee time back in the car now really enjoyed that tour thank you very much to gf hotels for inviting us out we will be going to that scandals dinner as well which we will take you all to as well um, that one is a little bit cheaper than the others you will find packages and things online um, jet two two e different things will give you prices a lot of you said oh we haven't told us how much it is it does vary by season it varies by how busy it is the demand etc so the easiest thing to do is to look online the links to that hotel website and everything are in the description of this video. 
uh, along with mine and Laura's Instagrams or Facebook groups as well. Make sure you go and follow them. Uh, join us on those. But yeah, a big thanks to GF for inviting us out, getting to show you guys another option, another hotel. Um, a very unique option, very different. I do think that's what GF do very well. All of their hotels are very different themed. If you want your super modern, you've got Victoria, which might not be up everyone's street. You've got the GF Grand, which is a mix of sort of both, a little bit of modern, a little bit of Spanish theme, very big. Again, not all of them are gonna to be to everyone's cup of tea, but with that many different designs and features, you will find one that you'll like. That one, very Canary and Spanish feel, which a lot of you will be looking for. Uh, then some people might say, oh no, I prefer the modern one. You do have all these different options, which are nice, and they're all very close to each other. Not huge differences in price, really, when you look at it. Um, so it's nice to have those different options rather than just having all very similar themed, very similar style hotels. They're very, very different. As Laura said, that was more like a village, wasn't it? That was a village, yeah. 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 That was completely different from the other two hotels. Completely different, but really nice. If you do like the Canarian um, aesthetics and stuff like that, but you want to stay down south where you can get your British bars and stuff like that, it's yeah. perfect. Yeah, Because you can get definitely. that Canarian and, you know, your British or your German or whatever, whatever you like. Really uh, parking, again, all three very similar. If you've got the free street parking outside, might get a little bit difficult at some points, um, but they're all everywhere around Fania Bay, Adeki, Costa Adeki is going to be a little bit tricky um, but there is plenty of free street parking around that one there is a big free car park uh, quite close by um, to the Isabel here but yeah thank you very much for watching if you did enjoy it please do hit the thumbs up hit the subscribe button I will leave in the description as well the link to the other two GF tours that we've done which is the GF uh, Costa Adeki Gran and also the GF uh, Victoria, which is the very fancy, very modern uh, five star. I'll leave those in the description. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stride on, and uh, I'll have to find another funky shirt for the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye guys. Thanks for watching.